It's the Red River Farm Network Crop Tour presented by Pioneer. I'm Randy Conan on the Red River Farm Network visiting with Carl Jensen. Carl, one of the uh, Pioneer dealers. Uh, we're in the um, uh, Pekin, uh, almost to uh, down into that, uh, I'm trying to think of the uh, Binford area. That's what I was thinking Mackville, of trying to, Mackville, Pekin. Yeah, kind of in that triangle right here. And uh, Carl, let's talk about uh, crop. You're holding some corn here in your hands. Let's talk about that. Looks like it's all pretty close to being fully dented or even all just a hair past. Yeah, it is pretty much. Uh, this is a 78 day hybrid here and we didn't start planting corn until the 25th of May. Normally we're done long before that, but uh, she's came along pretty good. Probably about a third milk line on it. So. Uh, uh, the nice 80 degree weather we had last week and, and supposed to have three, four more days of 80 degree weather next week. We're, uh, you know, starting out behind the maturities. We're playing catch up, so we're not, I don't think we're going to be too bad on the moisture side by the time fall rolls around. Tell you what, uh, we were all concerned about with, because we got that crop put in so late about uh, pollination time and the heat. It looks like it didn't bother it at all. Yeah, I uh, around here locally I didn't see much. I have seen some sandier fields that, yeah, there was some two, three inch tip back on there. But the rains this year were just exceptionally variable. I mean, we were variable every year around here, but to an extreme this year as far as who caught rain and who didn't and how much. Uh, yields are going to reflect that uh, on all the crops, uh, small grains too. Uh, average small grain crop, I would say, you know, there are probably some excellent fields that caught that extra rain, and there's probably some that guys are disappointed in. So, you know, on the standard, I'd say it's just, just average on the small grain, nothing special. Uh, beans, uh, they're going to be a good crop. They're probably above average. Uh, if we lived in a perfect world, we would have had that late fall rain about a week or 10 days earlier. Uh, we did get some added uh, uh, flowering and, and pods on the top of the plants on, on most fields, not every field, but most of them. So bean yields will be respectable or maybe above average, I'm thinking. Yeah, most of the crop, I just driving from the road, it looks like it's decent, not a lot of stress. Yeah, we're not too bad here, but it our soil types vary around here too. You can go just a few miles from here and have some pretty light sandy soil and and those beans and corn were uh, they were going backwards a little bit more than than some of the fields. Sure. We're standing in front of a sunflower field here. Tell me about that. Yeah, uh, sunflowers are looking good. Uh, looked at quite a few fields of growers and, and uh, they all look good. We got by without uh, seed weevil uh, damage. Uh, uh, Russ looked good in the area, didn't have any. Uh, the, the rain that came for, for the timing of the sunflowers was about perfect. Like the old timers say, you need the rain on your barley swaths to make a sunflower crop. Well, that would have been about right. So they look, uh, uh, they look really good. I, I do feel that sunflowers will probably be the crop of the year for us around here. Uh, yeah, they, they haven't looked this good in many years. Sure. So. Tell me about your Pioneer Seed business. Yeah, we've been doing that uh, for 31 years. Uh, my son Brandon is a big part of the operation. Uh, he's been here for about 10 years. Uh, he had a prior commitment, so couldn't be here today. Uh, but yeah, he's, he's a valuable asset to us on the seed business and the farm. So sure. How big a footprint do you have? What year? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got some guys coming from 25 miles away getting beans. Uh, you know, got some growers a little farther away from that. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's kind of a 20, 25 mile circle probably. Yep. It's always nice to be, be able to get around and, and get people from all over the place to see what things are looking like. Yeah, it is. And it, it, it's really a diverse area and it really changes from one side to the other. So you see some good and some bad every year. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Carl Jensen here with uh, on the Red River Farm Network Pioneer Crop Tour and from, from the, our Red River Farm Network Crop Tour presented by Pioneer, I'm Randy Conant.